Okay, God of Hard Drives here. Let's talk about how to fix your dead external hard drive, okay? All hard drives, unless they're Western Digital external USB hard drives, have a little part that is extremely prone to failure. It's called a SATA card bridge. And here it is right here, connected onto this drive, which has been removed from its external casing. If you look right here, these are SATA cards. They're SATA bridge cards. This is for a two and a half inch. This is for a two and a half inch. This is what's inside a three and a half inch large desktop drive. It is a SATA bridge card for communicating through the USB cable and connected to the actual external hard drive. All you have to do is remove the hard drive from its external casing, whether it be a Toshiba or a Western Digital, however, avoid Western Digital because they've cheaped out and actually created SATA cards which are integrated into the hard drive controller board. Instead of a hard drive controller board and a SATA bridge card, the assholes at Western Digital thought they'd save 10 cents and make these two pieces one piece to save money. So if you open up your external USB hard drive, you have to crack it open. You can other find other YouTube videos on that. You can see here, like on an example of a Hitachi hard drive, you have the hard drive inside its little casing. Once you get the clamshell open, you can see the SATA card right here, which is this little green controller board right here. This is the bane. There are literally millions of hard drives thrown away every year because of this little cheap piece of shit that's worth about 50 cents. And it's always failing. The hard drive's fine. A lot of people that throw their hard drives away think their hard drive's dead. Oh no, I gotta get a new hard drive. It's dead. Well, it's not. It's this little controller bridge card. And you can go to Best Buy and you can buy... Unfortunately, these are crap at Best Buy. You have to get something like an Anchor Direct USB to set a connector, which is right here. You don't need power for a 2.5 inch hard drive. You only need that for a 3.5 inch hard drive. Connects to your hard drive here and into your USB port right here. Inside this little black plastic box is nothing other than a reliable one of these. Now, the best one to get, go on to eBay. It's called Anchor USB 3.0 to SATA adapter. Now, this is what you need for a two and a half inch drive, and you would, of course, attach your power connector here, which connects right back here on the hole for a three and a half inch hard drive. Once you take your hard drive out of its plastic casing, literally a blind person, a moron, could actually do it. It just attaches like a Lego connection. Hold on one second, and I can show you. Right here. Here you go. Connects and disconnects very simply like Legos right here to the hard drive. So once you open up your external USB hard drive, you remove the SATA bridge card, this worthless piece of shit that is always failing on external hard drives. Doesn't matter if it's Toshiba or Hitachi. Everybody on Amazon.com is bitching and moaning, oh, Seagate's a piece of shit hard drive or so-and-so is a piece of shit. No, it's not. It's this cheap little piece of shit. It's called a SATA card, okay? Here's the USB connector on one end that sticks outside of the plastic box on your uh, hard drive and here's the SATA connector. This is a SATA bridge card. Connects to your hard drive. No screws, nothing. It literally snaps and unsnaps. Once you take your USB hard drive out, you unsnap it. Go to uh, Best Buy. However, these are crap. You'll see these sold at Best Buy for like $20. They're Dynex. They're total shit. I've seen it. At least 20 of these fail. This is a dead one also. Inside this is this little card and it's just an aluminum box. All you're paying for when you buy an external USB hard drive enclosure is a USB cable, this aluminum box, and a little SATA card inside. These are junk. Now the actual hard drive manufacturers, they uh, say these are about the size of a stick of gum. They actually have good and reliable ones of these. Some of them do anyway, but it's impossible to buy just this piece, a reliable one, cheaply. This is literally a 50 cent part. Unfortunately, you have to pay $20 or $25 on eBay to get one of these. Okay, you take your hard drive out, re-snap it to your SATA bridge card. You don't even have to put it back in its aluminum box. This is the Anchor Direct. This is what comes in the box from Anchor. You plug it into your hard drive and then into your USB port. Like I said, you do not need power. You get power through USB on a two and a half inch hard drive, but you will need power adapter, which comes in this box for a three and a half inch hard drive. Roughly 70 to 80 percent of all dead external hard drives are fine. Repeat, they are fine. I'm the god of hard drives. I assure you, I have, I have hard drives stacked almost to the ceiling. Okay, this is the case. If you think your external hard drive is dead, let's just say 75 to 80 percent, it's 
probably fine. Obviously hard drives can and do fail. God knows I've seen enough of them. But nine times out of ten, your USB external hard drive, whether it's three and a half inch or two and a half inch, Western Digital, Hitachi, Toshiba, or Seagate, there's only four hard drive manufacturers currently in the world, Lacey's owned by Seagate, is this little cheap shit part called a SATA bridge card that has failed. It's taken a dump on itself. Okay, it's worthless. It's a common failure point. This is why you do not buy Western Digital external USB hard drives because the cheap bastards have incorporated the controller board of the hard drive with the SATA bridge card. It's one piece. So when your SATA bridge card fails, your hard drive has failed. Then you're shit out of luck. Excuse my language. <laughs> you can get something like this that I use. It is a hard drive dock. They're 40 bucks. And what happens is you pop your hard drive in here, you plug it into your USB port. This one has two slots. You can either clone or copy hard drives. It's an extremely handy tool. Instead of buying a connector like this, anybody that works in computers has a hard drive dock. This is an absolute bloody necessity to have one of these. It connects via USB and power cable. This is a hard drive, a three and a half inch in the dock that I have here. This is the uh, external uh, hard drive enclosure. This is what I was just showing you, the Anchor Direct one. These are all SATA bridge cards. Here's what you will find inside of a three and a half inch hard drive enclosure. Sometimes they're shaped differently, but they're all the same thing. This one has USB and power. Like I said, three and a half inch requires power. This is one from a two and a half inch Seagate. This is another one from a two and a half inch. Here's a SATA bridge card with a short little USB cable connected to a hard drive. This is what you need. And remember, if you think your external hard drive is dead, it probably is not. Here's one last picture and I'll show you what it's going on. Here is a three and a half inch connected to the SATA, the, uh, the Anchor Direct connector, with power right here and USB here. So if your external three and a half inch hard drive fails, this is what you get to fix it. Your hard drive is fine. Like I said, it's just a SATA bridge card. Here's an external enclosure. If you go on eBay or Amazon or Best Buy, all of these, and I kid you not, 85 or 90 percent of all empty external hard drive enclosures are crap. They are total crap. The box is fine. There's nothing's going to fail in a aluminum box. The USB cable is fine. Nothing's ever really going to go wrong there. But all the empty external hard drive enclosures you find on eBay, and especially the ones at Best Buy, i.e. the Dynex ones, they're crap. They're total garbage. You can almost set your clock on them to fail. They're worthless. Okay, here's one taken out of a reliable enclosure. As you can see, it's a hard drive connected to the SATA bridge card. Here's a uh, Seagate one, and here's a 3.5 inch SATA card that was connected to this 3.5 inch hard drive, which a customer said had failed, but of course it had not failed. It is this. Like I said, there are literally thousands and thousands, if not millions, of hard drives thrown away each year or every two years that are perfectly fine. The only thing that has failed, the only thing that's crapped out is this worthless little SATA bridge card. It has a SATA connector here which snaps onto your hard drive. You could do it almost blindfolded. On the other side is one of several different varieties of USB connectors for the USB cable to attach to. So inside a, a USB external hard drive, when it fails, there's only four things. An empty aluminum box or a plastic box, this SATA bridge card, which is the failure point, your hard drive, which 75 to 85% is likely to be perfectly fine, and of course the USB cable. So I hope you've learned something and you don't throw away your, your dead, quote unquote dead, external hard drive because it's probably just fine. It's this. It's your SATA bridge card, not your hard drive. Like I said, hard drives can and do fail, obviously, but it's this little piece of shit part. Someday, sometime soon, someone's going to make a reliable one of these that will last. When you buy an external USB hard drive, usually they're extremely well, but these take a beating. These are literally the tires on your car, if you will. This is what, this is what's uh, getting all the exchange and the data being transferred from the hard drive to the USB port and to your computer, so they're getting a workout. They're kind of like tires. So you got to crack your hard drive open. Watch a YouTube video on how to do it. It's really easy. Just plastic tabs. They crack open like a clamshell. You take your hard drive out. Remember, you never grab them top to bottom. Never. You only grab them side to side. And you make sure never to zap this. This is your controller board back here. So you never touch this. Only grab it side to side. And you never squeeze it vertically top to bottom. Because that's where your hard drives and your armature bars are. I hope you learned something and you saved yourself a bunch of money on buying an external hard drive which you didn't need since it was only this worthless 50 cent part which failed.